Uh, to be part of this flyover, it's a huge honor. Um, I am so grateful to have been included and invited. It's just a really huge honor to recognize a woman who blazed a trail, who didn't have anyone that went forward to show her the way. I am truly honored and humbled to be a part of this flyover. Uh, just to be able to honor Captain Mariner's legacy is really a, a dream come true. First of all, it's truly an honor. Uh, first of all, to uh, be a part of something that's honoring someone like Captain Mariner, who really was a trailblazer for female naval aviators. Captain Mariner was so foundational in breaking down the barriers for women in naval aviation, and that's why I'm so proud and honored to be able to participate in this flyover. When I come into the ready room right now, I'm a pilot first, a person second, and my gender isn't really uh, an issue. So it's people like Captain Mariner that have paved that way for us. Um, so it's really a huge honor. I'm super humbled to be a part of this flyover uh, in her honor. To be a part of this flyover, I'm, I'm so grateful and I'm so humbled. Uh, the, the group of females that I get to do this flyover with, it's an incredible group and the honor of being able to, uh, to really represent and honor Captain Mariner is, in such a big way is, is a, a huge privilege and a, um, I'm very grateful for it. You know, being a part of this flyover um, is, is just a super humbling experience. I'm super grateful to fly with all of these great women. Uh, as a tribute to all the great women that kind of paved the way for us to do this today. Captain Mariner was a woman well ahead of her time. Uh, she was really a true pioneer and to recognize that audacity to hope and pursue your dreams, I think it's really truly the American dream. For me specifically, I, I wouldn't be standing here where I am today if it weren't for her and the, uh, the other first female naval aviators. I've never had anyone tell me no in the Navy. No one's ever told me I couldn't go on deployment or fly in a jet aircraft. And those are the types of things that women like Captain Mariner were up against. She was in the first class of female naval aviators uh, to get their wings of gold. Uh, so to be able to pay a tribute to someone who truly made it possible for me to follow my dream from when I was a little girl uh, is, is something that I will never forget. She laid the foundation for all of us going forward in naval aviation and beyond. And that's why it's so important that we pay tribute to her. We're lucky we get to do it in this really special way. Young kids growing up and not thinking whether they can do something or not because of their race, gender, ethnicity, um, they just go out and say, this is what I want to do, and that question isn't really in their mind. Kind of all starts back with Captain Mariner and some of the doors that she broke down. Captain Mariner, she, uh, she was so dedicated and so devoted, and she really broke proverbial glass ceilings for women, uh, especially in the armed forces and in naval aviation, to really pursue big dreams and goals and uh, to get outside of the stereotype and to prove that, that women are, uh, are strong and capable of doing uh, such a big job in order to fly fighter, uh, fighter jets for the United States Navy. And it's great to see, uh, even over the past few years since I've been in the community, it's definitely growing. Um, and, and at some point, it's not going to be unusual to have an all uh, woman flyover. Um, I can actually remember in 1993 when the combat exclusion was lifted. Um, I was 15 years old and at the time I didn't fully understand what that meant. I just thought, hey, that's kind of cool that women have an opportunity they didn't have before. And now fast forward, you know, 26 years later in April uh, and being able to fly in an all-female flyover with women who all have combat experience truly because of women like Captain Mariner fought to get that ban lifted. Uh, it was really all inspiring and it really kind of hit me uh, the gravity of this experience that we're going to have. I think it's becoming sort of the new normal and I love that. Women are gaining a stronger foothold in naval aviation. In fact, the flyover today has a commanding officer and an executive officer of fighter attack squadrons and just a decade ago we never would have seen that. So. I would say yes, and there's always room for improvement. Uh, I commissioned in the United States Navy five years ago, and even then there was a strong female presence, and I've noticed those numbers just getting larger as I uh, go from squadron to squadron in different duty assignments. There's more of a presence of female aviators, which is something really great to see, and uh, I think Captain Mariner had a, a big part in that.